Blast off! If you're looking for a context, it's because they count down until we go live. So I just, I felt appropriate, right? It was very appropriate. Welcome everybody to this Friday's live stream, March 22nd, 22nd. Yeah. of 2019. I am joined here by the lovely Wesley Boyer. Great Hello, to have everybody. you on, Wesley. Always a pleasure to be here, Joe. Um, didn't have a live stream last week because, well, we had better things to do. <laughs> Seriously. So we decided uh, we'd get back on the schedule of doing a live stream again. So we're going to pick up where we left off by discussing the fact that there is additional information released on Ryzen 3000 CPUs. Oh. Wesley, how familiar are you with the Ryzen series? Have you followed kind of like the growth pattern of the Ryzen platform since the first release in 2017? Uh, a little bit here and there. Okay. Nothing too crazy. A gotcha. uh, couple shout outs real quick. We already have some active people in the chat. We have... Ooh. Shio, I hope the T is silent Shio there. Uh, and Bart Von Doom, ahoy there! Welcome, guys. Welcome to the stream. Um, but no, back to your question. Uh, a little bit here and there, um, more or less uh, the gaming side of of everything. Okay, you know, that, that's those are the things I look at. I do know sure. the Ryzen platform is phenomenal for gaming. Uh, it's a very a great value. Keyword value. Oh, absolutely. It's a great value, um, and that's really going to be no different. With Ryzen 3000. So I discussed previously on our last live stream how AMD was talking about coming out with like five to six new technologies a year, right? This is the year of AMD in my book. The biggest thing to, to talk about with the Ryzen 3000 CPUs is they will be the first CPU to natively support PCI Express 4.0. Okay. For All those right. of you out there that don't know, we're currently on version 3.0. There's always a slight bandwidth increase with every revision, not huge. In no way is it huge measurements, so like, don't expect a miracle. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, but I mean, it's still interesting to see AMD is ahead of the curve. Absolutely. Compared to other CPU manufacturers like AKA Intel. Absolutely. Uh, hey. Real quick, hi Angel and hi Juke. Hello for Angel. Joining. Hello Juke. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. You didn't really, but I figured we'd I'd cut the semantics, right? Um, AMD demoed this eight core processor. Oh yeah, the three thousand uh, three thousand Ryzen CPU, uh, and to to quote, it's based on the seven nanometer process. Okay, Bear all right. In mind. Speaking of AMD, that's our brimstone system. To Wesley's left, to your right, if you're viewing, um, it is up for adoption. We are running a new adoption campaign, and it needs a new home. It definitely does. It's a hell of a value. I'm excited that we're getting rid of it at the value it is because it was honestly something we always wanted to do internally. Um, this isn't the first R and D system that we've built for a manufacturer like AMD. And usually when they get back, we like, we try to find a purpose for it. Some of them great. Some of them, they just gather dust and they end up just kind of sitting somewhere like in a mantle, like, look, we did a thing. And this time around, I, we wanted to try putting it in the hands of somebody at a cheaper price than what it would be to actually build it yourself. So if you go to the landing page for Brimstone, and you look at the PC part picker list, uh, myself, uh, along with the help of Brooke, put together the components to show you that if you buy these parts brand new retail, you're actually going to pay more. So, really? Yeah. So for a pre-built, huh. for a handcrafted signature series system such as Brimstone, to get it like two to $300 under what you pay retail cost, and then you'd have to build it and run the tubes yourself. I mean, this is like 12 hours worth of labor combined. You're getting it for free. That's a so, deal if I've ever seen one. Uh, you will want to jump on it, though, if it is of interest, because I already have three people that are interested in it, and they're kind of like in a bid war, to be Ooh. honest with you. Ooh. But if you're watching and you go ahead and you buy it right now as is... Just do it. I mean, you get it. Just do it. You, you gets it. Uh, Kimberly yourself. Boyer, my mother. Hello. Hey, Maeve Kimberly. Boyer, my mom, or my sister. Hello. Oh. Hey, Boyer family. How are you? Thank you for joining. What are they watching on? Uh, Facebook, I would assume. Facebook. Facebook. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, Shio says, it's mine. Oh. I mean. Well, then take it. Come on. Yeah. I'll package it up right now. We will. I'll package it up today, and we'll ship it out today if you buy it. Just give me your order number. When you're done, we'll make it happen. Um, to Just circle back to Ryzen 3000 real quick <clears throat> so I can get get this topic over with. Um. It competes heavily with a 9900K. So as you can see, huh. AMD's Cinebench score is 2057, and Intel's Cinebench score is 2040. 
Okay. Key here is going to be price point. The 9900K goes for like what, 460? Oh no. No, it's higher now. Oh, I believe it's shortages. It's over 5. Okay. So a $500 CPU if AMD can lock the the competing CPU down to like 300 bucks or even a little over, like that's no brainer. Intel's going to have to come back to the drawing board. Obviously. Oh, they will. Big question is though for me, uh, even though it has 30% less power consumption, based on what we've seen today and specifications, will AMD improve its memory compatibility with Ryzen? Because I hate to say it, I love AMD's Ryzen CPUs, and I really enjoy how far they've come since version one of Ryzen, and then even with like the Threadripper CPUs. Um, uh, Threadripper Gen 2 has been amazing to work with as far as productivity and capability goes. The downside is it feels like Ever since they introduced Infinity Fabric, it's pretty picky about the memory it uses. I've, I've noticed that. You know, um, at least like the downside is they've been upfront about this. So this is not new. AMD has said to check QVLs when pairing memory with their boards. At least they've been upfront about that. Oh, yeah. And then if you kind of look at it, at least like if the memory has been built around certain kinds of kits that have approved as working, at least like they're guaranteeing a level of compatibility that Intel really doesn't. That's good. They say... You know, our boards should work with all memory kits, but we know that's not true, right? So keep that in mind. At least AMD's honest and upfront about it. And this is also the return of AMT's core complex technology. For those of you that don't know what core complex is, it's a way that it processes compute and it's a strategy. And it's a strategy that they used to use like in the bulldozer CPUs that had a lot of potential that they kind of did away with over the years and they're bringing it back for Ryzen 3000 and maybe that's a good reason as to why the performance is where it is time will tell time will tell oh time will tell hello six kitties thank you for joining us today hello I'd like to see somebody with the name of six puppies oh <laughs> because I was just told about 15 minutes ago that it's national puppy day what which is kind of funny because less than a week ago I got two puppies did you know yeah though? so went to PetSmart uh, because there was a company or like a shelter that was bringing six puppies from the same litter, right? And yeah. I went to get one. Casey and I were undecided between um, one named Fonzie and one named Joni. All the puppies were named after characters from Happy Days. Hey. Hey. Um, I went with like the, the idea to pick one or the other, and I left with both of them. Um, Alien, Alien Icon said uh, Saturday, March 23rd, National Puppy Day in the United States of America. Oh, so it's this Saturday. I mean, we can still show these beautiful dogs yeah. off. I yeah, mean. so he, these are my puppies. I, I sent photos of my puppies so he could show you in the live stream if you happen to care. Um, be, these are my puppies, so please respect my puppies. Uh, eyes, are, eyes are right here, guys. <laughs> eyes are right here. All right. So that's um, on the left, you're looking at Fonzie. Or on the left, you're looking at Joni. On the right, you're looking at Fonzie. And uh, I love a man, hate them. <laughs> Honestly, I do. But um, and for the sake of National Puppy Day for March 23rd, these are my doggies. I would show a video of like my daughter going crazy with them, but maybe next time. We'll see. On to bigger and better things. Well, it's kind of flip flop because I, I, you know, we usually follow uh, a pattern of going through tech news first and then going to gaming, and I kind of. I don't like that. So let's jump to some gaming news real quick from Wesley. Wesley has some pretty cool things to discuss. Anybody who watches the gaming industry knows that big things are coming. So let's talk about it. All right. What you got, Wes? Uh, well, let's go ahead and start. Let's go ahead and just take the biggest one out of the room because this was something that's been hyped up for a while. Um, and that's Google announces their own gaming stream or their game streaming service. Uh, um, so... Uh, it, it's simple as this. It's the future of gaming, whether we like it or not. Streaming? Streaming. A might, streaming service. You may not be wrong, but I don't think it's going to become mainstream until ridiculously fast speed bandwidth is, well, mainstream. we got to think that's uh, that's what Google <laughs> wants to do. <laughs> Juke W. Gaming news. Epic takes everything. You're not wrong. Oh, look. We'll get there. Don't please. <laughs> please don't fluster me quite yet. Um, yeah. But... Uh, I watched the keynote the other day, um, and I mean, it's it's very, at, at this moment, it's centered to developers hmm. more than anything, um, just allowing the development process and uh, giving them the tools and necessities they need to create um, phenomenal games. I mean, that's always a good thing. I always like to see that. Um, mm. Agreed. But, uh, 
with so pretty much what it is, if I'm not mistaken, um, I'm pretty sure it's a dongle that you'll you'll plug into your. What is it? A dongle. One more time. Dongle. I like the way you say dongle. <laughs> 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 um, but uh, you, you plug it into your monitor, your TV. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure it's gonna have uh you know, applications on your phone. But they are stating that you can run games at 4K 60 FPS. Right. Uh, I believe it when I see it. <laughs> exactly. Maeve Boyer says, I feel Google slowly taking taking the world. I mean... You ever heard of Skynet? You're not I mean, alone. Yeah. They are taking over the world. Um, I mean, especially when they conceded with the fact that they weren't going to share any of their browsing data, and then they did that anyway. It's great. Dun, dun, dun. Bum, bum, bum. Do not enter the master code and allow Google to take over your AI systems. Do not. Don't do it. Uh, Juke said Stadia will not be available here at launch, so meh. Really? Uh, where are you at? Um, that it won't be taking place. Caramia21 on Twitch wants say, you to say Boston. 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 See, we have a system that's going to Boston, and it's got an RTX 2070 graphics card. Oh. We're not going to drive a car. Well, Juke is joining us from Brazil, which is... Pretty exciting. Well, hello, Juke. It's pretty exciting. Happy, happy to have you. Thanks for watching. Um, but with how simplified that they're making this, uh, contingent on its success, what kind of effect do you think this will have on the PC and console hardware sales? Um, well, for manufacturers out there, it's really not going to affect them whatsoever, because they're still probably going to be selling hardware to the companies that are hosting these services. For PC builders like us, I mean. As long as people don't have access to super high-speed internet, we'll be fine. I, I mean, this is something I probably don't see happening for another 20 years, Okay, if I, that. I'll say I w it's coming. It's coming soon, but I don't think it'll be efficient in the way that they envision it until about 20 years. That seems about right. Um, Hi, alien icon. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hey there. Could you do me a favor? Um, can you tell me, uh, what are you wearing? Sorry, go ahead. Uh, however, at the launch, I think it'll cater more to the casual person or someone who simply can't afford high-end PC wear or consoles. Mm -hmm. um, again, I mean, we don't know pricing or anything, uh, but speaking on a, on a manu manufacturer... Banana costume. She's wearing a banana costume, guys. Woo! That's hot. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Um, Google partnered with AMD to design a custom GPU with more than 10 teraflops of power as well as a custom CPU. Um, so if you take both the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro and combine them, it still does not, uh, their GPUs combined do not come close to the AMD GPU for Google Stadia. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so real quick, uh, Shio, Shio says, uh, well, no, AVA Direct on Canada. Like, we ship to Canada. Yeah. Like, if you go to our website and you look up top, you'll see the Canadian flag. If you click on it, it converts all the currency on our site to Canadian currency. And, like, we're fully set up to ship there. So if you have any questions, feel free to let us know, and we will be happy to help you through it. We're here for you. We're here for you for days. Exactly five days, a week days. But uh, yeah. I so mean, this streaming service. Do you remember a service by the name of On Live? Ring a bell. You were probably fairly young, like during this this period of time. It was about ten years ago. So you would have been what, like thirteen, fourteen? Who, who was behind the service? If you, uh, give it me... was it was their, they were their own company. Oh really? So it was On Live. The, the the device was called On Live, but it wasn't like a company that anybody would know. Khakis. 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 Ah. Uh, <laughs> You forgot my cockies. Ah, ha, ha. You dropped my cockies. I, I, I can't get my cock because I dropped my cockies. <laughs> Sounds like I'm saying something entirely different. Don't read into that context too much. Anyways, on live, there was a company, third party company that started a gaming service called on live. And the whole point was you get this little box, probably like about the size of a steam link. If you've seen one. Okay. All right. Same thing. You controller connects to it through Bluetooth. You plug it into an ethernet connection and a basic power source. And there you go. You have access to a library of games without having to invest in a gaming PC. There was a monthly subscription. The problem was this. It saturated the hell out of the bandwidth that was available. Even if you had like the fastest internet available then, the textures, the graphic textures, in order to get smooth gameplay, it just couldn't handle it. 
It flopped. Oh, yeah. It flopped bad. So that's why Google's like, we're coming out with their own streaming service. Well, you better as hell bring Google Fiber to every city before you do that. Because then you have... I would cry. Yeah, well, I mean, they, they have the motivation to do it. They're Google. Like, they're already bringing Google Fiber to, to certain places. So why not make that a point? I don't think it's... I don't even think it's financial reasons either. I think it's hmm. just, meh. We'll get to it. Juke says, besides the internet speed limitations, I don't see Stadia being used to play competitive games like FPS and fighting games, only single player. That is a very good I, point, Juke. Yeah, absolutely. There are people like me that you end up becoming like input lag sensitive to a degree. And now if I play a game on anything other than like a G-Sync or a FreeSync monitor, I can tell the difference and it, it screws me up. Like, so that's, there's a reason why competitors or people who play games for competition, they have gaming monitors that are FreeSync or G-Sync enabled. It's, one less bottleneck. You know kind what I mean? Of a, it's kind of a necessity for competitiveness these days. Oh, it's a big necessity. Like, if you don't invest in frame lock technology, you're really not gaming at all. Just saying. But that's all I really have to have to say about Stadia. Um, if you want my honest opinion... I want your honest opinion. It's going to flop. <laughs> I think it's absolutely going to flop. Um, how Could you rate its uh, its method of floppiness? Like... If you could compare it to something else that's flopped, what would you compare it to? Fallout 76. Oh. Oh. oh we, I mean, it's... We pulled that cobweb-filled dead horse right out of the closet, beat it, and threw it right back in. you damn right we did. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a cool concept. It really is. But... CC. I just don't think we are... We're not there yet. Mm. It's, you know... I'm going to say hello to a few other people that have joined us. Welcome, um, A-dubs. Jim, Jimmy has joined us on Facebook. Christopher Mundy has joined us on Facebook. Hello, Chris. How are you? Shouldn't you be working right now? Like, how did you, Unless it's on your phone, then they'll never know. <laughs> oh, uh, A-dubs is on? Hey, he A-dubs. Is. Does it teraflop? If so, how many teraflops? Uh, 69. <laughs> you asked, A-dubs, and... Uh, you have received. By the way, uh, your notebook's like a couple days away from being done. Uh, we're shooting video on it, whether you like it or not. <laughs> uh, so that'll be done. Uh, Zach is in the process of doing thermal paste application comparisons between liquid metal and standard thermal paste. So when that is done, don't say take your time. Don't don't <laughs> don't say that to a system integrator <laughs> that has a bunch of perfectionists. Don't do it. You don't know what you're asking for. Is Stadia the new Google Plus? Oh, God, well, no. Juke asked prior, how many projects has Google abandoned in the last few years? Um, hey, remember Google Glass? <laughs> the, the mobile porn toilet? Because <laughs> that's what it was. It's like he, Johnson's sitting in a meeting and he's not paying attention because he's on 4chan. <laughs> <laughs> the memes are too good. <laughs> and just, it's awful. And Toshio says your laugh, that laugh. Do you know who Toshio is? Do you know them? Do they know you? No. You have a fan. Thank you. I don't know if my laugh's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, it's good. You're like, ha, 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 ha. Okay. We all know that it's way worse than that. Dude, if you make me if you make me belly laugh, I'm Tickle Me Elmo. So really. <laughs> I am Tickle Me Elmo if you make me laugh organically. So, um, <laughs> chill. <laughs> Or heavy breathing, I don't know. One of the two. A-dubs, the iGPU on my old laptop died on me, so I'm forced to use Linux on it because that's the only way to force the discrete GPU. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, but it doesn't have it doesn't have Optimus. As long as it doesn't have Optimus, then it's not filtering the output through the integrated graphics, so you're good. Uh, some of our notebooks, a lot of our Clevo notebooks, after they did away with Optimus, you could actually go into the BIOS and tell it discrete GPU only or iGPU or hybrid. And you could use Windows on it. So depending on what your laptop is, A-dubs, I don't know what the brand is, but a lot of like big big name manufacturers have what's called uh, secret BIOS menus where you go into the BIOS, you hit like alt control and like an F key, and it will unlock settings that only like system admins typically see you like when you ship the notebooks in-house. So an awful MSI, it has it then. Oh, and it does have Optimus? How the hell are you managing to use discrete GPU then in Linux? Because like it's... Optimus is supposed to filter output through the integrated graphics. Teach me. Teach me your way. Teach me your secrets. But still, impressive, nonetheless. So we're going to move on to some other CPU news since I know you guys can't get enough. 
Uh, and hello, Chad McNabb from Facebook. He has joined us as well. Uh, looking forward to talking about the system later. Me too. We'll talk all about it for days. For days. Oh, the iGPU isn't totally dead. Okay. It's only half dead. It's like one of those you slam the lid to your laptop shut uh, in a rage quit and you kind of killed it, but it's still functioning. I did that once. I uh, I rage quit, slammed the lid of my MSI notebook. It was an MS1722, and somehow it managed to jostle the DC jack on the board loose. Oh. So every time I'd have to plug my notebook in to do something, I'd have to shove like a rolled up piece of paper or something to like <laughs> hit it at a certain angle so it would turn on. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some interesting graphical glitches. You should take some photos and send them to us, and then we'll turn it into a wallpaper and then send it back to you because reasons. Um, Toshio says, my precious, precious, precious. Mm. Have you ever heard the actor who played Gollum, uh, read Trump's tweets? No. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm tempted if we have time at the end of the, the show, I'm going to look it up on YouTube and I'm going to play it because that's something everybody needs to hear. Not opposed. Okay. So moving on to Coffee Lake, refreshed CPUs lists have been released. What? So for any of you that were, you know, not living under a rock, you know that there's new KF and HK CPUs that Intel released recently, right? Well, they are coming out with a refreshed Coffee Lake CPU list that includes the T moniker. Mr. T, a pity to fool who don't use Intel. Ugh. Bruh. Um... For anybody that doesn't know, anytime Intel releases a T moniker CPU, it's low power as far as power consumption goes, uh, but very, very close to its desktop equivalent. So for i9, we have 9900T. For i7, we have 9700T. For i5, we have 9500T. You see what they're doing? And the i3, they have 9300T. All of which consume only 35 watts. So. Oh, was, was that like. What? For a mobile platform, <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, for Nooks, they'll probably you'll probably start seeing these things in Nooks. They could potentially even be used in tablets. People don't want to use Qualcomm tablets. Like I, I think that's what Intel and AMD are trying to do. They're trying to get into like the tablet space with things. But Qualcomm has like such a foothold in that market. It's just disgusting, disgusting, dude. I nine ninety five hundred K. What? A-Dub says he can do a Smeagol impression perfectly. Can you? Prove it, or it didn't happen. Yeah, and um, A-Dub's pointed out that these new Intel refreshed CPUs are all 14 nanometer. Refreshed coffee. Nobody really likes refreshed coffee. Microwaved coffee. They should call Ooh. it microwave-like. <laughs> or I want them, maybe they could come out with a series of CPUs that are self-destructive, and they just call them toaster tub. <laughs> is that too dark? No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'd do. Or like new ceiling. Look at these new CPUs. It's a new ceiling. Right? No. Okay. I'm done. Dayspring Gaming says dark, dark, dark. I heard that in like that Jamaican conga line song. Please. It is dark, dark, dark. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Uh, that's how my mind works. <laughs> Um, Bart Von Doom, Batman Dark. Hey, you guys wanna you wanna test out my new CPU? It's called Toaster Tub. <laughs> like that scene from Groundhog Day. Oh. <laughs> he just has a blank facial expression the entire time. And that's it. Or when he steps out in front of the bus and just Right. AVA metal band incoming. I mean, I'm down. I play drums, though. I don't do, like, metal vocals. I'm pretty so. sure, like, n anyone who is here that plays a musical instrument is drums. I'm pretty sure. I know, right? And I'm pretty sure that if I didn't allow Zach a chance to be a metal singer, he would probably unfriend me from social media and would stop making eye contact with me. That 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 man has so much he, need, so much he needs to let the world know about what goes on inside his head. <laughs> that if I don't give him the opportunity to be a metal band singer, it's over. Hire me, I'll be your guitarist. You can play. Okay, send us a resume, and I just want you 
to like put on the resume where it says guitarist in the parentheses. Uh, I'm the MVP. I'm the real MVP, and you'll be hired. So go to careers at avadirect.com. Submit your resume. It just says A dubs, guitarist. <laughs> I'm the it. That's all you got to do. And then we're good. Aren't all CPUs self destructive? I mean, if if you put enough voltage on it. Yeah. Um, what else do we have to talk about for the lake refresh CPUs? Coffee lake. Uh, Ricky lake refresh CPUs. Um, Ricky lake. Yeah. Right? Lando lake refresh CPUs. No? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm. As weird as it is, though, it is exciting to see Intel come out with CPUs that Ooh. are as powerful but consume less power because that's what AMD has been doing. And I hate to admit it, but it's exciting to see Intel CPUs start to consume this little amount of power because it, it feels like they could start competing in the console wars again. You know, yeah. I, I hate to say that I hope consoles advance, but PC the PC industry needs real competition. So if consoles start coming out, that it's like, Hey, for six hundred dollars, uh, you can get a console that competes with a PC that you can build for twelve hundred. Amazing! It, it, it's it's good things for us guys. I promise. Like, it, uh, um, they're also rumored to have a four core five watt CPU, so wow. you could potentially have a four core processor in your your smartwatch. Wow! Wow! Um, Dayspring Gaming said Great Lakes, <laughs> and I said to uh, Land of Lake CPUs and Six Kitties. I can't believe it's not ten nanometer. Oh, but it's got to be uh what's what's the guy that does the butter commercials? Fabio, I can't believe it's not 10 nanometer. <laughs> oh, but it tastes like 10 nanometer. Oh, no. <laughs> Why does it sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger at the end? I mean it was good. Duh! You got your unlock CPUs! You put them in your PC, you get great value, duh! Alright, sorry. You were saying? I'm just you blow me away with your impressions, Joe. I can't <laughs> top, keep up. Top Keck, you need to put that meme to picture now. I thought of a really cool meme, actually, with Fallout 76. It would be the guy from Resident Evil 4, and on the top, it, what are you, <laughs> what are you buying? And it's Fallout 76, and right below that, what are you selling? Fallout 76. <laughs> Just saying. Why um, not? I'm 100% for that. Are you? Yes. It would be cool if their prices were competitive as well. I know, right? Intel's starting to become... Um, the PC industry's Apple. But hey, here's a box that has Intel on it. What's, what's in it? Nothing. $80. <laughs> All right. Cool. Um, don't link the giveaway. That makes me sick. No AV Direct on Canada. Oh. Or, um, is, is it continental US only? No, no. I'm being told that the giveaway is for Canada. Canada and U.S., so... I thought a good portion of our giveaways were... Yeah, so, Shio, uh, do your thing. If you need help, uh, shoot us a Facebook message. We can walk you through it, or maybe we could fix it for you somehow. Absolutely. It would be great. It would be great to inaugurate our giveaway PC into Canada. It'd be awesome. Uh, We've spring. never shipped a, a giveaway PC to Canada before, so that'd be cool. Oh, absolutely. Mm. Be the first. Yes. Be the first. Uh, Dayspring Gaming says, we can't use Fabio. Get... Hit in the face with birds. This guy would get hit in the face with a video card or something. I mean, I could get hit in the face with a video card, but I would probably uh, get on my knees and go, yes, please, more. <laughs> please. Please. Chad uh, McNabb, no on Fallout 76. Okay. Fine. Shio or Shio. I, God, I'm butchering this name. Shio. Uh, says, love you guys. Well, we love you. Oh. We love you. I mean, did, do that face one more time, Wes. That's that's a that's a legitimate West face. It means he means what he's saying. <laughs> Sticky. <laughs> well, I, I'm not touching <clears throat> that one. <laughs> What's sticky? Dayspring Gaming. Need I ask? Is it your thermal paste application? Because depending on the the components in the thermal paste, all thermal paste can be sticky. Next subject. Oh, she said you're cute, Wes. Next subject. <laughs> I seriously don't know who that Replacing is. Replacing so. coolant with maple syrup. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> who said that? Did I miss that somewhere? Make sure. Where did I miss that statement? Oh, six kitties. Got to replace the coolant with maple syrup if you win. Uh, yes. Yes, please do that. Only if it goes to Canada, though. Better yet, we will do it for you. And then we'll load up the PC um, to when it boots up. It just says very nice, encouraging things to you. 
Nice. Because I have not met like a mean Canadian yet. Like it's there's not a mean boat in a Canadian's body, like at all. And that makes me ashamed as an American that we I mean, can't I've be met that some way. Canadians in my day. What's up? I've met some Canadians in my day, and they can be a little mean. <laughs> my buddy, I had a buddy that um, lived over on the east side, and his apartment complex was filled with Canadians. He told me. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. I don't yeah, know how I feel about that. <laughs> wow. 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 I just, I, first thing that comes to mind is the Owen Wilson meme where it's an owl and it just says, wow. Wow. <laughs> and he used wow. to come with a serving of poutine. How to deadhead your pump with your host, <laughs> Toshio. <laughs> well, now, do you see that noise there? That's a, that's a good noise for your pump because that means it's close to its imminent death. <laughs> it's okay. It's just a pump. We'll replace it soon. I don't know if that was a Canadian accent or like an accent from Arkansas. I mean, I did live in Arkansas for did you? Uh, eight years of my life. So eight years of my life. I hear. I hear that now. You didn't say eight years of my life. Eight years of my life. I mean, when it comes to like Southern accents, I, I can do a decent one. Yeah. Yeah. Eight years of my life. Eight eight years of my life now. I had a buddy. His his father was had a southern twang. He lived uh, like down south in in Ohio. Some of the things he used to say like used to crack me up because he would say you'd hear it as it was meant to be heard, but like that's not what he said at all. And I can't think of any examples right now that I'm on the spot, but I'll I'll try to see if I can remember some. Kyle Lemmer, they keep the mean on the ice. That makes sense. I did watch a video today uh, quoted Happy Gilmore like I'm the only one that ever tried to pull off my ice skate and stab somebody and then I watched a video of a professional hockey player literally just take down a whole team by himself like went after every team member one by one for just no reason after one guy pissed him off he started pulling dudes out of the ice box oh like he ran out of people on ice so he just ran at the people behind the ice box all right why not a Canadian oh Canadian beer um it said Canadian B based on how I read it. And if we could fill a liquid cooling system with Canadian bees and then tie that to like an Oprah Winfrey meme, <laughs> you get bees, you get bees, you all get bees. And everyone's just flipping out. Right? <laughs> ah, Nicholas Cage from Wicker Man. They're in my eyes. <laughs> just oh. saying. Just saying. Sometimes your accents cross the continent in a single sentence. Mine do? I mean... I was I was born in New York, only lived there for less than a year, and then moved to Ohio. But then I grew up with parents that still retain the New York accent. New York and then my accent. siblings retained it for a little bit. They were young too, but there's like a couple of words that I still say to this day. It just it drives some people crazy, um, and I don't mean to. <laughs> I'm Nick Cage yelling, "Not the bees! Not the bees!" I like you, Day Spring Gaming. I like you a lot. I hope you entered the giveaway and you win it. Because you have <laughs> Ruidu, all the bees. Nice to see you, Ruidu. It's been a while. Um, and hello to to newcomers, by the way. I don't welcome. know if we I don't know if we said welcome to Dayspring Gaming or to Greg One Martin, but hello Dayspring Gaming and and well hello and Greg One Martin. Thank you for joining us. I blanked out for a second. I just like went to read your name and then spaced. I've blanked out a couple times. So far, if you could not tell. When you look at me like, I just said something great, and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Rurudu, oh, no, I'm going to win all the giveaways. Well. Day Spring Gaming said he's won, or they have won two graphics cards via giveaways. I they need, need to, to continue, continue my streak. Well, what kind of streak? Like winning streak, mean streak, blue streak, streaking? Don't give me that look. You look like somebody who streaked a time or two. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that. No. You sure? <laughs> Next. Oh, you're, making, you're not making eye contact with me. I don't believe you. I've never streaked, <laughs> at least from what I can remember. Some um, people on this stream are very disappointed to hear that, I'm sure. <laughs> Assassin's Creed 10 ATI and a Star Wars Empire Titan XP. Oh, so now I'm jealous. Like, what? Oh. I'm still using that keyboard and mouse I won. A dubs. Nice. That's cool, dude. Is awesome. That, I almost bought that keyboard. For myself, when I tried it at CES. What keyboard was it? It was a lot. It was a Patriot keyboard. Oh, was it a Patriot keyboard? Yeah, it was a really nice Patriot keyboard. Like it retails for like eighty bucks, I think. Oh, okay. All right. And and I I tested it at uh, CES this year, and it was really, really responsive. All right. 
Uh, we did post an additional link to the giveaway in Twitch. So if you're on Twitch, click the link. If you're not on Twitch and you're on Facebook, you can go to our Facebook to find the link to enter to win the giveaway for our Outer Worlds build for PAX East. Whoa. Very important. Listen up. If you had not been listening this entire stream, listen to this. If you share the giveaway link on social media, every time somebody clicks your link to enter the giveaway, you immediately win an additional 15 entries. Or 10. Is it 10 or 15? 15. Okay, yeah. Um, it has a limit of five, but still, that's 75 additional entries just for sharing. Like, it it takes like three seconds. There's a share option on the Gleam page. So share it. Uh, tag your friends. Tell them if they do the same thing, they get it. I mean, it's contagious. Also, if you're going to be at PAX East, come and see Zach and I because you'll get 10 additional entries. Uh, details to follow and how that will be verified because we're still finalizing that. But just saying, Facebook in 2019, you're greater than Facebook in 2019. I still hold out hope that someday I will win. Optimism. Uh, and Rudu says involuntary streaking. That's probably how it would now end. That I'm, now that I'm looking at your facial expressions, you sound like and look like a victim of involuntary streaking. I mean, at first, I'd probably end up enjoying it. I mean, <laughs> you only live once. Okay. Um, what they need to do is um, also, I was just told that the limit was updated to how many times you can get entries for sharing is 15. So do that quick maths. 125, right? 15 times 15? 15 times 15. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's 125. Is it really? Yeah. Woo! 225. It's 225. I, I suck at math. You. I was testing you. Can you tell that there was a math course in, in high school I had to take twice? <laughs> it was algebra. My teacher was a female dog. I didn't like her. She didn't like me. So it was mutual. Uh, Still 15 times. I'm going to repeat it 15 times. If you share it, you'll get 15 entries. If you share it, you'll get 15 entries. If you share it, you 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 get 15 entries. That was only seven times. I'm not going to do it again. My head's, I'm getting lightheaded. I can't, nope. No, please, no. Nope. Uh, Greg Martin says, see a new accent. I don't know if he's talking about me <laughs> or you. Me. Maybe both. I don't know. Oh, I say both. Both? Both. That's an Ohio thing. Both. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Run into somebody. Oh. Every time we bring that up in conversation, it's so true. Because like five minutes after I'm walking, I'll run into, oh, I'm sorry. My bad. Greg Martin, see a new accent. I won $20 gift card once. Nice. When Joe is the just right amount of Spurg. Hmm? Spurg? What is Spurg? What is that? I'm lost. Are you guys making fun of me? You know what, guys? This stream is supposed to be a safe place. I'm supposed to, you. You're supposed to do that. Okay, I can't read that text. It's too small. Hold on. Spurg is both a verb. No, please, by all means. I'll read this. I'll re I want to read it. Um. <laughs> you know, when I was younger, the guidance counselor at elementary school asked my mother if he knew if I was on the spectrum. I like leaving the house. I do have a bit of a temper, though. So, <laughs> Juke W, internet being a safe place. Hello. It's not. This isn't technically. I mean, the tech. This is a cat. A podcast. A just, stop it. I th I think I am Spurg. I think I am. I know you mean it in a loving way, A Dubs. And if I was here, I would ask you to hold me and tell me everything's okay. But you're not. So you're going to have to make up for it in other ways. This thing has a one terabyte Optane drive. Is that for reals? Uh, yeah, Intel gave us that. Like, full disclosure, Intel gave us that. They're like, hey, you know, exposure. Can I give you an Optane drive? I'm like, sure thing. And they gave us the CPU too. So huh. when we decided we were going to give the system away, um, almost everybody was on board with giving the components away except for a hand few people, which um, because we're partners with them, we won't say. Um, Intel was like, uh, I reached out to Intel, our rep, and I'm like, hey, so when we get this system back from PAX, 
we'll pull the Octane drive out. We'll replace it with something else. Did you want to give us something else to, to give away? And he replied within like 50 minutes. He's like, oh no, I gave you that Octane drive, uh, fully expecting you to give that away. Please give it away. And like Alex Sonis, our CEO called me, he goes, that SSD is $2,000. I'm like, uh-huh. Are they sure that they know it? <laughs> that they are you sure they want to give it away? I'm like, yeah, I have it in writing. Intel said, give it away. And I could hear like how wide his mouth was over the phone. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, they're, we're going to give it away. So that alone, guys, makes this system worth winning because, I mean, the liquid cooling components alone, $2,000. Uh, the board and the processor and the memory and the graphics card, probably about 1000 bucks, And then 2000 like this is a $5,000 system, not counting the amount of time and labor that went into modding it and painting it. So let's round that up to a $6,000 system that you're getting for free if you just support us and support yourself by sharing it on your social media. It's all your friends. 15. Totally off topic. Kerry Tagawa will be reprising his role as Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat 11. Pathetic. I want Shao Kahn to come back. Oh, the guy from the Mortal Kombat movie? I haven't seen that movie in ages. I mean, but he only looked like Shang Tsung. That's what, like, he didn't sound like him, though, I guess. Or maybe he did. I don't know. Finish him. Finish him. Wesley Fate wins. Fatality. Flawless victory. Okay, Brutality. Oh. Friendship. Friendship. Again. Okay, I'm done. Obtain 905P, sweet baby Jesus, says Day Spring Gaming. Um, yeah, it's no joke. Rudu, good luck, everybody. I don't think that's actually how you sound, but it reminded me of the bald dude from Vegas Vacation when he steps in to deal with the hand. Good luck, everybody. Chevy Chase that. looks like he's about to have a heart attack because he knows he's not going to be the house. Was this? Vegas Vacation. I don't think I've seen that. Oh, anymore. my God. Stop the freaking presses. Go. Oh, my God. Get out of here. Go watch Look. Vegas Vacation. Come back to the live stream when you're done. So it'll be over by then. But, you know, joke's on you. <laughs> Lol. Look, Lol. It's, it's on my list. I just watched Pulp Fiction for the first Babality? time the other day. Huh? I just watched Pulp Fiction for the first time oh, You the other told day. me that, and I was, like, thrilled, but also very sad for you at the same time. I just don't watch a lot of movies. I like movies, but I just don't watch them. I, my whole life has been spent, like, watching and quoting movies. And when oh, I mean, and when I'm on my deathbed, I'll probably say, "Life well spent." <laughs> I spent my entire life spending my money and collecting comic books. Yes, great movie. Oh God, phenomenal movie. Phenomenon. Phenomenon. Uh, Rutu says, "I don't care for Chevy Chase and uh, Randy Quaid." How do you not like Randy Quaid? Pass. Really? I mean. Chevy's a bit of a douche. Like, everybody knows that. Um, he's freaking hilarious. He's horrible to work with, though, which I recently found out Edward Norton. Like, do you ever wonder why he's not in a whole lot of sequels? Why is that? Because he's terrible to work with. Mm. Like, he wants to write his own script. He wants to change lines. He wants to have creative direction in every movie he's in. He did it in American History X, and the only reason why he let it happen is because he was, like, the star of the movie. Or, like, he couldn't do anything about it. That's why he did not come back to the the Marvel uh, universe in uh, Avengers. Uh, money and he wanted creative direction, and Disney was like, "That's cute, All right?" Recast. Uh, Randy Quaid is IRL crazy. Oh, he absolutely is. That the videos he put out against that director. I mean, it went off the deep end. I feel bad for his brother Dennis Quaid. He's just like sitting at home on like a a comfy recliner, like with his legs crossed and drinking coffee, just seeing the news going. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Randy, uh, like Tom Cruise. Yeah. Yeah. Like Tom. Um, what did I watch? Casey and I watched, Oh, is the new mission impossible movie. And there's a scene in the new mission impossible movie where he's running around like a structure in a country and it's circular. So he's running in a circle and because of the way he's running, you can tell he's wearing platform boots that give him like four inches in height. And immediately I just go, oh, look at short Tom Cruise run. And Casey lost it and started <laughs> laughing. She's like, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> because like he was like, his knees were like up to his chest because of the weight of the platform boots. Did you know he's like five foot two? 
I'm taller than him. Yeah. Woo! Tom Cruise is like five foot two, or maybe he's like five three or something. I don't know, but he is not in any means a tall man. That makes me very happy. I'm very short, actually. Yeah. IRL, so and like makes and me happy. There was there's one movie and one scene where like he didn't think he needed to wear them or he forgot them, so they shot it in a way that made him not look short. But you could tell if you look at the objects around him, like, oh man, he's, that's a tiny little man. Arutu says he is five seven. Well, then him and I. Are. Oh wow! So he's. Two inches shorter than me. So he's I'm really five, not that seven. short. I, I feel like a horse's patoot for overselling his shortness. But hey, he can run. Yes, he it can. That is in, indeed true. Uh, Dayspring Gaming said, that's what Martin Sheen did when Charlie <laughs> went nuts. Oh, oh yes. Boy. Oh, yes. Um, Tiger's blood. Blood of the tiger. That's all I got to say. Wes, do you want to jump on some more gaming news? Absolutely. Please do. Uh, so, something that I think is pretty interesting. So that's of, why Tom, sorry, that's why all Tom Cruise's wives left him really because they're all taller than him, and it was just weird to kiss a short man. I can debunk that. Okay. <clears throat> hey Wesley, forget that gaming news. Tell me some more about this debunk. All right. So, I have two. I feel like the system two, two kids. I feel like the system integrators. Um, Howard Stern. So please continue. I have two kids, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Their mother is. I had to like stand up on my tiptoes to give her a kiss. All right. Wasn't a problem. All right. So um, I'm trying to think. I don't. This sounds hard. I'm pretty sure a couple other girls were taller than me, too. But like, it doesn't bother me. They were like. They didn't pull the whole, like, oh, you're so cute. And you're like, thanks. No, I'm like, yeah, I am. Oh, okay, so you just rolled with it. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right. That's what got you got to do. More power to you. But uh, no, that's, it doesn't matter, like, how you look. All right. Or it, it's really, it doesn't matter how you look, how tall you are. All right. If you got a good personality, all right, you in there. <laughs> First thing, I mean, no offense, but the first thing that popped in my head was the scene from Liar Liar when his son's like, my teacher says beauty is on the inside. And he's like, that's just something ugly people say. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I'm I'm not like, saying that either. It's just I'm not saying I'm the most beautiful man on the face of the earth because we all know that's wrong, okay? Six kitties, welcome to our new dating advice segment. We need like careless whisper playing in the background. Saxophones. <laughs> <laughs> Wesley short, but he can still kiss girls, and they still think he is cute. Come on, you're supposed to pick it up. Go. <laughs> <laughs> all I'm saying, and then I will, I will dive into some gaming topics. All right, just be you. All right, all right. See you. Welcome. And maybe take him to Starbucks. You're in. You're in. Every, every, I think every woman loves Starbucks. That or Chipotle. Starbucks. Everyone loves Chipotle. Dude, I can't stand Chipotle anymore. It's, I love Chipotle. I when, had Chipotle today. And when the, the steak starts to taste like sausage, like you got to back off and let your palate reset. I mean, I had Chipotle today and I got to tell you, it was the greasiest Chipotle I ever had in my life. It was so disappointing. I was so sad. <laughs> a. Mm. A. That's so me. join us on, <clears throat> but what you have to do is you have to drop the tone of your voice, make sure it's soft, and then <clears throat> over accentuate the words, like, you know, pronunciate the words as sharply as possible, and then speak quietly into the mic. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for AVA Direct's Dating Hotline. We're joined here by the resident dating expert, Wesley Boyer. How are you doing, Wesley? Doing great, Joe. How are you? Wesley, now you told me that you once had a very disturbing dating experience. Is that right? I've had multiple ones. It involved involved an avocado, a snorkel, and some duct tape. Where did that avocado go, Wesley? Do you really want to know? (laughs) (laughs) Um, Okay. Now that we're about to... We lost two people streaming doing that, so that's good. Oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) Um... Let's go through some comments real quick. It just means it, do, it just means it wasn't meant to be. I do see a couple comments. Uh, so <laughs> this Ooh. episode of AB Direct sponsored by Arby's. No, because we need Archer on here. We need the guy that plays Archer. And he's like That's a really sandwiches. Good we need sandwiches. Eds. Do you want eds? Because that's how you get eds. 
Uh, Greg Martin said, we've been off topic so long, the Optane dropped $500. <laughs> Just for that, you get an extra entry. Woo! Um, Give this man an extra entry! So, somebody asked, I cannot pronounce that, uh, but they're from YouTube, Psych... Ooh. Uh, Joe, no, you, t- you take that Sick away. Sick as hell! 410. 410. Uh, can you guys show me a shot of my build? Lo- uh, it ends in 662. I was just kidding. I know it's probably not possible. Um, Wesley, uh, start talking. Say nonsense. Say things so I can look up this man. All order. right. I'm going to actually... Okay. A couple more comments. Uh, Juke said, as long as you have the alpinist skills, it's fine. Lol. Uh, What's Shio, alpinist? I don't know. It is... Um. Okay. So... Your build is currently in stockroom complete. So what that means is that all the parts that we had to order um, are here and that they are on a cart sitting in production right now waiting to be assembled. Because you jumped on the live stream and asked about it, I'm going to go ahead and make a note that we build that first thing on Monday for you. Wow. Oh, it looks like you were working with a Mr. Miser. Kyle's my boy. Um, Oh, I helped him with the uh, get the sleeve cables ordered too. He, We created a template to send to our pre-sleeve cable provider who is mainframe customs they make all of our pre-sleeve cables they sleeve the cable combs on them and everything so that way we get the cables we plug them in we call it a day so yeah those were ordered and those are on the way hello metamin zawadi from youtube how are you i am watching now good thank you good thank you for joining us let the viewership flow through you uh uh Psycho Gel, I'm I'm sorry, says awesome. It is awesome. It is. Everything is awesome. Rue 2 says hot. Adub says quick. Cut to a shot of Zach spraying LM all over my laptop. <laughs> Linus style. <laughs> Zach's like the metals. I when I said I wanted the metals, this was what I was already talking about. Oh, he's gonna do a blind. Did I tell you that he was building your notebook blindfolded? Enjoy. <laughs> uh so seeing as i mean time's almost out don't look, i think one of the biggest things i want to talk about bethesda coming to e3 this year um it's either gonna be really good or really bad all right uh so they got balls after what was uh you know fallout 76 was fallout 76 yes. is now fallout 70 refund yes um I mean, they really didn't come out of the gate uh, with something that will please fans. Maybe a Fallout 3 remastered? Please. I mean, that's really all they, they've please. got right now. Like That's that's actually not true. They do have Starfield. So if you actually notice, uh, Brooke, can you scroll up real quick? Back to the top. Ah! Is that possible? No? <laughs> all right. Well, if you actually look at the... It's pre-rendered, Wesley! I didn't know. I'm God! sorry. Don't hate me! So Too I, late! If you look at the teaser, it has uh, people from um, various Bethesda games, and they're standing on a field looking at stars. What? They're going to talk about Starfield, okay? They need to. Please. That, that game's been rumored for a long time. All out 76% off. It is. <laughs> it ups. Why is my RAM covered in RTV? Uh, to protect it against moisture. Starfield is a battle royale. Don't shh. Be quiet, Rue. Too. I will. I will come through this camera. Oh my. <laughs> no. 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 Don't trust their lies. They're lying to you. Mountain climbing skill, Wes. Says Chad McNabb. Mountain climbing skill. I, I mean, <laughs> I wish I had mountain skill. <laughs> you learn to climb mountains. I'm going to quickly fall off my luck. <laughs> Just saying. Um, however, something that kind of concerns me. What concerns you? Tell, uh, talk to us on about the, it. T- on the teaser uh, on the tr- teaser poster, good Lord, uh, it says B together. Um, or we have more online RPGs Aww. here. <laughs> I look at things like that. Aww. I look at things like that. Don't like, do this to so me. So Casey and I pre-ordered fallout 76 as you know and i i missed the return window so that sucks <laughs> and oh, you should have gave it to me man i, I got you a refund we got it and it was like um <laughs> yeah um we're like hey maybe 
maybe we'll get lucky and they'll come out with an offline mode. And they're coming out with an offline mode, but they still have yet to do that. So we've been playing it. I think they will talk about it at E3. I do. Um, so but that's they all they ever smart, do is talk well, and break things. If they're smart, they'll say, hey, you can have private servers. Hey, you can mod. And hey, you can do it right now. If they did that. Hey, guys, check out these private servers. That's what they're going to say. And then not care. To use that old saying that I used to hear like all the time when I was younger, they're laughing all the way to the bank. Oh, they did. Actually, sir, they're not because everything's digital now. They don't even have to leave their office to transfer funds. They just open up their, their web browser and they send it and off you go. Wow. <laughs> wow. Look at this. Well, just look at this. <laughs> just look at it. Sir, the numbers oh. increase. Oh, Alpinist means mountain climbing skill. Yeah, oh. dude. Alps. The Alps Alpinist. Oh. That's perfectly fine. You make fun of me. Roast me. It's what we do here. All roasted, right. boom, roasted. Todd Sweet talking his fancy trailers. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> oh, Juke. Juke, we're gonna become good friends, aren't we? I like this man's. Yep. I like the way you persons. Move. I like the way you move. Oh. Um I mean, I'm not lying. I'm not Snoop Lion either. No, it's Lion it's Snoop Dogg. Because Snoop Lion didn't make it as a reggae artist because it's it's fucking Snoop Dogg, all right? I like that album. Okay. That's like T-Pain trying to become a lumberjack. It just doesn't work. You know he's actually a good singer without the autotune. Yeah. Yeah, I know he is. He just It was a creative decision. I'm just saying, that, that album was not bad. Speaking of autotune, um, we're going to go ahead and end the stream uh, with our Brimstone ad, promo, whatever. And... I really feel like the person singing that should have used autotune because it is just awful. What, the ad? Yeah. Why is it awful? It's just awful. I liked it. I think I tore my throat singing it. It was phenomenal. Yeah. I, I know. I The thing was, I couldn't sing loudly into the mic Look. because it was blowing out the mic. Oh, sorry. It was blowing out the mic. So I had to like, I had to like sing it like at this volume. And it was so hard to not blow out the mic in the process. So, but that, uh, that ends it for our live stream, guys. Uh, we'll go to end it on our Brimstone ad. And if you want to give Brimstone a home, she's, she's yours, but we only have one. So hurry up. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us, guys. See you next week. Goodbye. Have a nice weekend. Every single day, millions of games are played at terrible resolutions and on low graphic settings in order to obtain smooth gameplay. Frame rates are lost, screen tearing, and games are not fun. All because your current PC can't keep up. But Brimstone can. We provide this poor, helpless, high-end gaming PC with a loving home full of long gaming sessions. Play the latest AAA titles with your graphics set at Ultra. The way that games are meant to be enjoyed. Don't waste another minute. Adopt Brimstone today. You need it as much as it needs you.